Made it out to NAB 2022 in Las Vegas this year. It was a little different. There were a little less people this year, which is nice for me. I like it uh, when it's not packed like a bunch of sardines. But I just wanted to tell you about some of my favorite products that I saw out there for us video folks. So let's hop into it and I'll show you some of my favorites. If you've never been to NAB, I'd strongly suggest it. If you're a video photography person, this is like being in heaven. You're walking around, people are talking about frame rates and camera lenses and cinema lenses. I mean, it's like you're in heaven for a video person. So Sony, it was definitely Sony world. They had a whole corner dedicated to themselves. I went over there and it was just business as usual. Camera set up for people to use. You got the models modeling for us. So I was walking around and stumbled upon Rotolite. And Rotolite, I had the original Rotolite for about 10 years and I would just use it for interviews out at conferences, run and gun conferences when you need just a little bit of more light on the face, get rid of those, you know, raccoon eyes that people sometimes get from overhead lighting at conferences that can be really harsh. So when I stumbled upon them, I was like, hey, I, I used to have a Neo. I loved it. And they said, well, we have a brand new Neo out. So they showed me that. And of course, it's two, three times powerful than what I had. But what I also thought was really cool was this new interface. A uh, really nice color screen on the back, easy to maneuver. And now you can also use a Sony big old battery that you can slap on there. Not all these double A batteries that it used to take. Definitely check out Rotolite. I like Rotolite a lot. Great company. And this new Neo 3, you can also use it for photography and it is your, you know, dedicated flash. And now you can flash colors. Uh, so pretty cool and versatile little everything flash for your photography and then when you need continuous lighting for video. Speaking of lighting, the next company that I really like that I stumbled across was Aperture. And Aperture has some really amazing stuff. You might remember how everyone used to be like, oh, LEDs are never going to be as bright as a Fresnel or a real bulb. Well, those days have changed because Aperture has finally done that and they've got the specs to prove it. It. Their new kit on the block is called the LS600C Pro and they tout it as full spectrum in full force. And that means that you can match the brightness of these Fresnels as well. But what also you can do is then switch it into blue, into red, into whatever color of the rainbow you want. And that's something that you weren't able to do unless you had a gel. Now you don't need it. You just kick it in. Aperture has a great little app. Uh, I was also lucky enough to get invited to their after party uh, for the Sunday night and got a sneak peek at some of the new products that Aperture is going to be dropping soon. Maybe hold off till these new releases come out because because that's what I'm gonna do. And when they do, I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff. They have definitely progressed with the technology and they're just making stuff better and better and they're just crushing it these days. So they have another line of lights for smaller creators like, like me as a YouTuber and it's called the Amaron series. And I'm using their P60C behind me for color and then I'm using a P60X, I believe. And that's your daylight to tungsten. Uh, Great little lights, I can't say enough about them. They're cheap, they're super bright, they're all you need for interviews. I've been going around doing interviews with clients, paying gigs, and I'm using this. You just slap a, an umbrella in front of it, make it a little softer, and you're good to go. This is all you need for your interviews. So big ups to Aperture. Good stuff, guys. Thank you for that after party, and that was just a great night. I got to hang out with a bunch of giants from the YouTube world, My some of my favorites. So another theme that I saw going around NAB was how everyone wants to get your footage into the cloud as fast and as easy as possible. And everyone has latched on to this company called Frame.io. And I've used Frame.io with a client before. You could say it's a Dropbox site specializing in video. You've got all the comments right there on the side, time code telling you where it is, 
And I guess at some point, Adobe bought Frame.io. So now Adobe has implemented Frame.io into your Premiere Pro and After Effects. You can upload straight into it and then share it with your team. And then they're giving you comments and you've got your little Frame.io in the media player in your Premiere Pro session right there. Super helpful for videos where you're working in teams with a producer or a writer or someone, many people that are chiming in. And then Adobe went even more steps further. You can watch Frame.io clips now on your Apple TV. You can watch your dailies that have been shot during the day at night on the couch watching your Apple TV. You get everything set up. So the video world has finally connected the dots on how to store, how to share, and how to collaborate your footage into the cloud. So this is gonna be a big stress saver for me and I hope it can help you out as well. And then the one little last product that I wanna talk about is this really cool little thing I saw over at Blackmagic. Of course they're crushing it as well, keeping the theme of getting us affordable gear for video makers that we can achieve, you know, amazing stuff. But they had this little tiny device, look like a Pong player, you know, if you remember the Atari games it was like this just this little guy and it's a recorder and player it's got sd card in the back you can load that up with a video file then you've got your monitor plugged in hdmi it's also got hdmi out to whatever else you're gonna be playing this video file to or that's just your master recorder you record the the last little monitor out to this now you've got a backup backup and if you're capturing the main edit you're getting everything all in one and there's your video that you can give to your client at the end of the day and if that wasn't cool enough just for this little thing 500 bucks it's also a teleprompter you load on some rtf files or srt i'm not sure about that i know rtf files are good to go. And then you plug in your monitor and you've got a teleprompter, you just press play. That's what I mean. These companies are really starting to connect the dots on everything. And we are super lucky that we get to be in this video world right now. All this stuff used to be so hard and used to have to have so much gear. And now you've just got some aperture lights. You've got some black magic. You've got some Premiere Pro shooting your files to the cloud collaborating with everyone. I mean, it is like a little mind blowing how cool and fast all of this stuff is getting. So if you are a video person, a photography person, and if you can make it to the next NAB show, either in Las Vegas or they have one in New York City, definitely check it out. I cannot recommend to my video folks to go and check this out. This is like going to Disneyland for us adult video people. Thank you NAB for putting that show on 2022. I enjoyed it immensely. Big shout out to Aperture, Blackmagic, Frame.io, everyone that was involved. Just thank you guys. Had a great time and hope to see you at the next show next year. All right. Thanks for watching. Please join the channel down below. I would love to see you at the next one. Thank you again for watching and take care.